Welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat's Bit Productions. Today's video is a quick tips video. Um, it's very cool today in Phoenix, Arizona. As you know, in the summer it can get very hot here, but it's monsoon season. So we had some heavy pouring rain today, so I thought I would make a couple of quick tips videos for you and try to keep them quick. Because I know that sometimes my quick tips videos end up to be 10 minutes. So let me just say, please remember that Cat's Bit Production sells screen printing equipment and supplies. If you happen to need any screen printing equipment or supplies, please check out catsbitscreenprintsupply.com and see if there's anything there that you need or could use. And uh, your purchases help keep me making videos right here on YouTube and I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So today we're going to run over to the washout booth in the back there over yonder and I'm just going to give you a couple of little tips about the way I work with my washout booth, uh, things about it, just a couple of general tips about the washout booth, maybe how it should be set up, what's going on over there, you know what I'm saying? So let's go take a look. My first tip is that when you get your washout booth, it's probably going to have, you know, whatever washout booth you buy, it's probably going to have some kind of screen or drain that's covering the drain hole, you know, a screen over the drain. And you're just going to want to take that out. That thing is going to be in the way. It's just going to be in the way. So just take it out, okay? There's no sense in fussing with it. Mine's out and it allows for bigger solid pieces of waste to go down that drain without clogging it up. Okay, remember I have a filtration unit under there, so for me it doesn't matter. I don't, I'm not worried about catching anything in there. Now, secondly, what I would do is a lot, of, a lot of washout booths will come with a little screen holder thing, right? But like you can see, this one is, you know, if you were to use it, it's in the water. And sometimes when you get pieces of tape or whatever that go into the drain, it can slow down the drain and the water rises a little bit. So what I do, if I could do this without too much noise and messing up the shop, is I have a piece of wood thing, that, <laughs> a piece of wood thing that uh, I just slap together and it raises my screens out of the basin of the washout sink. So if there's any reason why the water backs up a little bit in the sink, if there's some tape or emulsion that goes in the drain and slows it up, this keeps my screens out of that dirty water and keeps them elevated enough so that the pressure washer or the garden hose doesn't shoot into the corner and you know spray a bunch of dirty water onto the screen that I'm working on. Another cool thing to look for when you're buying a washout booth or you're looking at washout booths is a squared corner on the sides, a folded edge, okay, and this goes all the way around the front and opening of the washout booth, okay. It's a curved or squared edge, and that helps keep water from splashing back at the user or, you know, coming out of the washout booth. Now, of course, anytime you're using the water in the washout booth, water is going to get around. It is going to get on the floor. I don't care how waterproof or how awesome your washout booth claims to be, there will be water on the floor. Speaking of water getting onto the floor, I take a few uh, precautionary and comfort measures here. I use a mat so that I can keep my feet out of the water as much as possible. But, you know, of course the mat is going to get wet. It's good. The whole area is going to get wet. So uh, the mat is there purely for comfort and to kind of keep me out of as much of the water as possible. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll notice that since my washout booth is metal, I have it on uh, two wooden blocks or two wooden pieces of two by four. And again, that's just another precautionary measure, even though the unit has a light and it's grounded and the pressure washer is grounded and has a GFI and all that stuff. It's just a precautionary measure to keep the metal feet out of the water on the floor. And um, you know, it's just one of those weird things that I do. I don't know if it really you know what I'm saying? I'd probably get shocked to death anyway if something happened. That's it for today, everybody. I hope that wasn't too quick of a video for you all. And uh, please remember to check out CatsBitProductionsLLC.com for a whole lot more about screen printing t-shirts. And if you need screen printing equipment or supplies, please check out CatsBitScreenPrintSupply.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate your time and attention. And if you like what you see, please rate thumbs up. Comment below and of course subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.